Uh, I'm putting these straps on the inside. I'm screwing them to this and this. And I did start knocking plaster off like that. So it can be patched up, but it's quite loose. So it's all coming off now. Dot and dabbed with insulated plasterboard. This is an exterior wall as well, so I think this one's going to get done as well. I've got panelling to go around, so insulation behind the panelling maybe, and dot and dab board on top. We'll see. I'm putting these on with red plugs. Got a couple of fixings in there, and one into this post. 50mm fives. Give it a twist. Use a hammer, top it in. Most of them are straight. I just pulled this one down just so that I'm not on the edge of a brick. Don't matter. And these ones up here, I'm just putting a couple of screws in at the end so that I can avoid his dodgy brickwork. Especially this side. You see, because he's he's only cut halfway through the bricks and then bashed them off to break them. It's loosened. It's loosened all those. So if I take that brick out, will that come down? Then that that one's sort of jammed in there. That one's sort of jammed in there. Uh, I didn't see all that until I knocked the plaster off. Right, so I'm just going to brick this up. That's a brick there. I don't see the point in pulling that out because it's supporting that. So I'll just brick that up. And up here I've got my prop back out again. Knock this hole out. Knock that dodgy brick out. I'm going to put that one in there. Don't really want to get involved with all that.
there's going to be another inch on top of that so that'll be three inch overall right that batten i put on is to create some airflow underneath i'll show you that when i do the outside but now i can get a board fitted on here and i've got two 4x2s here because i want to raise the window up so that when the cushion goes on you don't see the cushion from the outside Right, this is an off cut that I cut to length, but I didn't cut it to width. I was going to cut it back to there. I was going to cut it back to that timber. But, hmm, might leave it at that. I was going to cut it back and then build a bit of a frame on the front. There's going to be a radiator here with a sort of grill on it. Um, Okay, I think I'm going to just screw this on, deal with that later. Right, that's screwed on. I'm going to put a bit of paint on this edge. It's going to be covered and wrapped and everything anyway. I don't want to put the sides on yet because I want to put the top in before I do that. Then the side will go up underneath and hold it up a little bit. So for now I've got a couple of packers and these are going to get screwed on there. There's another one there. I've got a piece of four inch outside but two pieces sort of work against each other I reckon. Four inch, it'd be alright. But two inch, two pieces work like a laminated beam a little bit. So that went in last night, I need to sort out this, lift it up a bit, bring it over here. And originally I did intend on, or thought about, wrapping this whole, with, this whole wall with a, with a visqueen layer. But this wall's quite, quite dry. Everything's really dry. And because of this dodgy wall, I thought it'd just be a pain in the neck to try to get a fix in, try to get a good fix in. So I'm going to leave it like that, especially here. Imagine wrapping visqueen on there and then trying to pack it all out. Pain in the neck that'd be. So get some insulation in. Maybe just pop these off. And I'm going to temporarily fit that board. I can't put the top one on though because I want to deal with that flashing that's going to go on the outside. And it looks pretty dry, I don't think it's raining in. But like I say, I want to be able to deal with that flashing because I want to turn it up behind that lintel a bit. So any water coming down can't get back in. So I'll just temporarily fit the sides. Finish off that, that breathable membrane. And I can go and make the window then. And I'm delayed on the lead, they didn't have it in stock. They took my money, went into a warehouse, but didn't have it. So I'm waiting for that, that's a couple of days. This side board, I want to go straight down there. So maybe I should have trimmed this back, but it doesn't matter. Can't get my jigsaw in there. Not going out to the van to get my multi so. Right, do that one. Right, so that's insulated. 
just two inch on there and I've got a piece left enough to do the top that's why I put two inch on one inch down there I didn't want to have to buy another three inch sheet just for that no insulation in here it's going to be inside and I'm just going to temporarily stand these boards up inside a couple of screws just hold them in place while I go and make the window Need to trim a little bit off there. Then I can use an off cut. I'll do. I'll put that to the ceiling. Draw a line across there. Trim the top. So it needs to go back by that little bit. So I've made that parallel up there. Just need to trim, trim a bit off there. That's flush now. Like I say, I can mark the top now. So I'll mark that there. That pencil line. Same on that end. I'll trim that bit off. So I'll put a couple of pencil marks centre of these timbers. One there, look. Same there for these ones. These ones here that go up like that. I'll put a couple of pencil marks on that side when I do that one. But for now, I'm just going to pop a couple of screws in and I can get this wrapped round again. Just for now. And I've trimmed the tops of that top board. We'll go in there, cross like that, and the side sort of hold the top up. I just put a couple of screws in, just hold that in place for now. And I cut this board fractionally wider than my frame is so it sticks out the same as I did on the outside so when I put a board on so when I set a board on there it's got two flat surfaces to sit on I'll do this side uh, they're both cut to size. I've already cut the top. I cut that when I had my table set up outside. So I'm just going to slide that in just to see. But I don't want to leave it in. Because although this is very dry, you know, the stuff that I put up there, the breathable membrane, seems to be stopping the water. I don't want to put this board in because I want to be able to get to the lead. I'm going to turn up here with the baton on the back. Right, 
Uh, I'm happy that fits. Window next. Right, these sides, when I fixed them, I had to fix into the brickwork, but they projected out 200mm. So although I, I, I got them plumb, when I fixed it inside, you know, just a millimetre there through that. So I had to be quite careful and I kept on having to plumb that just to check. Same on that side. And that is the same distance as that. Same as that. That's the same distance there. I made them at the same time so that they would be, you know, the same. But just out of curiosity, I've got a stick here. I put a clamp on there just to make sure that that board's back because I haven't put a screw in but that if I sit, stick that up there that if I stick that up there it's my pencil line there can you see and then if I swap it over See, that's my pencil line there. I'm a good quarter of an inch out. But it's closer than I thought it would be. When I put the window in, the window will be parallel. The window will be the same width as length and all that. So I'll do the same thing. I'll, I'll square it with a stick, fix it straight. That way I know that the window is square, so the glass should go in okay. I'm going to get this wrapped up again, just temporarily. If I sit that in there, that's plumb. I sit that in there, that's plumb. So where I get that. So where I get that quarter of an inch from, it's it's just a, a fraction here and there. So they only so that went up inside and came round the corner a little bit. That's overlapped a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to make my window. I've just measured it. And it's it's pretty much there. It's one three nine across one three nine there. So I'm going to make the window one three eight. Give myself five milli the side. So I should be able to get that parallel, and then I can lift and lower the bottom and the top to get that to get that square. So I'll give myself ten milli the way on that as well. 5mm either way, 10mm overall. <laughs> 